Hi friends, this is Penny Hunt and this is Penny Heart to Heart. I've been coming to you every day for 18 days. This is day 18 of these videos talking about my tips and techniques and just what's going on in the world and giving you ideas of um, little snippets of things that I think of that might help and be helpful during this stressful time that we're all living through. So um, today, before I start, I want to remind you, if you want to be in the book giveaway, I'm giving away my books every week. Just in the comment line, write, I love your book, and um, you will be in the drawing for this week's book giveaway. And as soon as I can get to the post office to mail the stack of books that's growing, I will do that when we can get out of the house to do that. So I'd love your book in the comment and you'll be in the drawing. Today on this Heart to Heart, I want to talk to you about blocking your blessings. I um, wrote about this in last year, just six months ago or so, and I've um, included the link to the writing with this um, video so that if you'd like to go back and read it, there's also audio with it if you'd like to check that out after this video is done. I um, wrote it because I think so many times many people get kind of in a funk and get sad for different reasons. Um, different times of year, sometimes January is not a great month for me. It's kind of the letdown after holidays and you get kind of sad and um, the weather's cold, at least here anyway. So there's different reasons that we go into these um, areas of sadness and um, depression and we kind of turtle in our shell and so when we do that what we're actually doing is blocking our blessings have you ever noticed that people who are grieving or depressed or sad have you ever noticed their posture they do this kind of hunk over thing and what they're really doing is trying to protect their heart especially with grief um, when you're grieving, you've been hurt so bad and your heart is so hurt that you try to protect it. So you bring your shoulders together in protection mode to try to um, save that heart from being hurt anymore. Um, I think if you start watching for this, you'll notice this is a very obvious stance when people are grieving or sad or depressed. They do that hunker over. And so it's natural to do that protection thing. And that is what people, we all do when we're sad and we're depressed and we're um, turtling ourselves in our house. And I started thinking about this because how it relates to what we're going through now. Right now, we're all being told to stay in our homes. So we are um, turtling, pulling into our shell because um, we need to, to stop the spread of the virus and keep um, germs away and keep ourselves healthy and other people healthy. And so we're being told to stay home. We're being told to turtle in. So this would be a natural catalyst to becoming someone who blocks our blessings because sometimes you can just stay in bed all day, you cannot get dressed. All of these things that happen, we don't eat right, um, we don't wanna to talk to anybody, and we find these things to occupy our minds like screens, like sitting in front of the TV, watching the news 24 hours a day, trying to keep up with the numbers of how many people have the virus and what's going on in the world or we zone out watching movies all day long or um, any number of things that we do when we're sad and depressed and lonely. And sometimes when we get in those kind of states, we don't answer the phone, we don't wanna to talk to people, we don't reach out to other people. And so um, we block our blessings when we do that. If people are trying to get a hold of you, because we're all being told to reach out to someone, especially if they're alone, and if you're one of those people that are um, home in your home by yourself, I can only imagine how lonely this can be after all these days of being there in isolation. And so we're all being told to reach out. And so if people are trying to reach out to you and talk to you and you're not answering texts and you're not answering phone calls, Here's what happens. It's human nature that for those who are trying to do the reaching, trying to reach out to you under the best of circumstances, trying to get you to go to the movie or go out for dinner or just calling to say hi and you're not responding, 
pretty soon they will stop reaching. And now more than ever, we need to be connecting. We need to have someone reach out to us and we need to reach out to others. And so do not, in this time especially, block your blessings. If people are trying to reach out to you, answer the phone, answer your text, make um, a phone call yourself because if you're feeling sad and lonely and isolated, there's nothing better than trying to help someone else and you take the um, depression and fear out of you because when you start to help other people, it makes you feel better. Um, it all comes from fear. I think when we are um, grieving, grief is such a fear-based emotion and experience. I've been through it many times, more than I would like to have. And the fear of reality of what has just happened, it makes you turtle in and you don't want to deal with anything. And so you don't want to talk to people. And many times you just get um, lower and lower and lower. And that can create a space of never getting out of bed, pulling the covers over your head and isolating yourself from everything. Um, it's a barrier. Fear is a barrier <laughs> to life. Because if you're living in fear right now, you don't know what to do. Maybe you've been laid off from your job. Maybe um, you've got family members that are ill and you can't see them or um, whatever your circumstance is. I think we are surrounded right now by fear. And it's a really easy thing to do to hide behind these screens, to not answer phone calls, to just sit in this um, puddle of fear. And again, it is all fear is a barrier and we don't want to block our blessings. So if fear is a barrier and it's a barrier to our blessings, we don't want to block the things because when we live in gratitude instead of fear, the whole world changes. So if you're over here on the fear side and you're blocking everything that's a blessing that could take you to the gratitude side, it's not a healthy place to be. It's not a happy place to be. And it's not where I would wish for anyone to be right now. I um, think there's a lot of things you can do. First of all, um, you can stand up if you're having trouble even getting those covers off and uh, getting out of bed, stand up and move. What I have learned is when you want to move the least is probably when you should move the most. So if you live in an area where it's nice enough to go for walks, get out in that sunshine. Um, I've mentioned many times that I'm in Wyoming where it's still wintry and cold. And I have had a few days, including this morning, that it was windy, but I still went for a short walk because for me, getting in sunshine and moving and feeling the fresh air and breathing fresh air um, wakes me up and gets me back in life and gets my brain working and my heart open. And so I would encourage you to do that if you live in a place where you have nice weather. So stand up, move your body, and reach out. If um, people have been trying to get a hold of you and you've been kind of ignoring the phone and ignoring the messages, maybe it's time for you to reach back to them. Because like I said, it's human nature. People will do that so many times and then they will stop. So it's your job to answer their questions their call, answer the, answer the messages so that you can have some kind of connection because connection is what opens your blessings. It what unblocks the barriers so that you allow your blessings to come in. So I wanted to talk to you about this. I want you to be thinking about are you blocking your blessings or are you blocking yourself from giving blessings to someone else? So think about how you can help how you can reach out. And remember by doing that, it not only helps the person you're reaching for, but it helps you too. And so it's a two-way communication. Don't block your blessings and don't block blessings from others. And so think about that, how you can open up to others that are trying to connect and how you can connect with them. 
I um, want to remind you, if you want to be in the drawing for the book, in, this, in the comment bar, just put, I love your book. And even if you watch this later, after it's not live anymore, and you write that, I'll still put you in the um, drawing for the book. So that is a really fun thing for me to do. I'd love to hear from you. And if you um, know someone, maybe this is a way that you can reach out to someone reach out and tell them every day at three o'clock mountain time you can they can log in and and listen to these little snip, snippets of ideas that i've been sharing and um, that would be a good opening for you to reach out to someone and try to help them and, and give them something of encouragement some kind of encouragement an idea for them to do i thank you for joining me i know it's a little chunk of your afternoon a little one that you come and spend time with me and listen to these quick videos. I hope that the um, tips and techniques help you and that you can implement them into your life. I'm Penny Hunt and this has been Penny Heart to Heart. Thanks for watching.